and, and I mean, maybe that's people's journey too, because I know I've told God whatever it takes. You know? yes. I mean, I mean, I mean, uh, God's gonna do what God's gonna do anyways. But I've told God if it means they destroy me and kill me or or, or destroy my name, my treasure, my name. No matter what crap they make up, I am committed to this. And I think it's that attitude, that spirit of total commitment that, that the enemy is afraid of. Absolutely. And, I, you know, Christians especially, I'm sure maybe other religions have, but, you know, Christians have the martyrs. Uh, if it weren't for martyrs in the early years of Christianity, uh, Christianity wouldn't be here. And, and it's, it's people, I'm sure, having to make that same kind of realization that, Lord, you know, let your will be done, and if, if I'm meant to be killed or be tortured or to be uh, per, uh, prosecuted or persecuted or, uh, you know, bad things are said about me, uh, each one of those things you have to offer up and just realize that there's, there's a reason for it, and as long as you're obeying the commandments and that you are uh, trying to do the right thing according to your conscience, uh, you know, you'll come out on the other side. Already. Well, that's the thing. I try to be a good moral person. And I am God-fearing, and I catch myself doing things. I mean, we really are a fallen species, but we also, you know, have you know, can reach for the stars at the same time. I can't imagine just giving myself totally over to evil. I mean, that must be horrible. I can't imagine it myself. I, I, you know, we ask ourselves, how do they sleep at night? But then again, if they've totally given themselves over to evil, <laughs> maybe it's not too difficult. Uh, but you know, you or I, and I'm sure all, I mean, all the people I've met here and your your crew. Uh, and so many people that I've met, they're the complete opposite, the complete antithesis of what the government told me they would be. The government said they're greedy, they just don't want to pay their taxes, you know, they're just miscreants, they want to make trouble, and um, it's not like that. The well, you know, I've looked at most of the original patriots in the kind of the last wave, the last 50 years before us, kind of the G. Edward Griffins and Bob Chapmans at the tail end of that. Mainly they were military people and uh, intelligence people who were let in on this stuff. Right. And a lot of them were like, like you know, Red Beckman in the Air Force, all these guys, they were, I mean, they saw this and they heard the U.N. is going to take over America and we're going to have a world government. And they said, and they saw the IRS shaking people down without due process and they knew the Bill of Rights and Constitution. And they were saying, look, this isn't, you know, this is a bunch of baloney. Well, I think, you know, I wouldn't mind putting out the word there to law enforcement and military, not to uh, make you feel bad or to judge you, but, you know, one of the things that I keyed in on was that I, you know, we are not to bear false witness. And if you know something is a fact, and you know that people's lives are at stake, a government's poisoning us or doing something, you may need to judge how you're going to exit or how you, what you're going to do to make things better. But uh, remember that it's uh, wrong to bear false witness against your neighbor. And if you're helping these evil people, and maybe you didn't know you were, but if you're a link in that chain, uh, you need to think really hard uh, about that, and you need to pray about it, and see what your role may be in trying to put a stop to it. Well, here's an example. CPS, and I covered the bill yesterday. I left it in my car. I forgot. I'll, I'm going to run it in the break and get it out of the trunk. The uh, bill number, and I read the bill. I saw the headlines and couldn't believe it, and I read it. It's uh, Senator Kurt Watson, state senator, introduced a bill, and it openly says, no more warrants, not even fake judge family court orders. Just CPS or their designates can just grab kids without even asking parents, do medical tests, you name it. Word for word in the bill, it it didn't pass. The bill passes an anti-CPS bill to restrict their... The, he's a key senator. He put it on as a tag-on after it had been voted on. The Texas legislature is real corrupt, the rules they've changed, where he tagged it on after it was in committee and went to the governor to let him do whatever they want. And... Uh, I mean, are, so the police are, I guess now we're going to start going kidnapping kids without any order, without any warrant, without any, I mean, folks, this isn't freedom. I mean, that's evil, and, and they're so scared of losing their jobs. Ladies and gentlemen, if you all just start saying no, th this evil will stop growing. But when you have the attitude of, oh, I don't want to lose my job, I remember when I had a popular talk show. I'd already started a syndicated show out of home, but I was doing it here locally, one of the number one shows in Austin, and they came in and said, no more Bill Clinton, no more New World Order no, in 99, or you're fired. And I said, well, gee, I'm, it's a popular show, is it not? And they said, yeah, but you're fired. And they said, you got a few weeks to stop it. And I didn't stop. And they said, you're fired, dumbass. And you'll never have it. That's the, you know, that word for word. You'll never have another job in radio. They didn't even know I'd already started another one. But I was blessed by that. And I didn't feel bad when I left their fire. I felt good. And if I never would have been on the radio again, it doesn't matter. You cannot continue to just give in to everything. And I sound like a hypocrite in saying, well, I'm paying the IRS. No, I'm choosing my battles. You know, that's the issue I'm making. 
I, I totally agree. I mean, when I left the IRS, I had my you know typical human anxieties about how am I going to pay my bills, but it, it, you end up able to do it. Just trust in God, you know, hang in there, and you'd be amazed at what things you can do uh, and what things you really need uh, to survive. Uh, God will take good care of you. Here's the bill, SB 1440, allow CPS to kidnap and sell people's children just like they did to the FLDS, 401 children in April. The court uh, made them give all but one of the children back to the parents because they didn't have any court order even from a judge. They just went and did it. But our legislatures and CPS people want to keep up their kidnapping unhindered by the Constitution and the rule of law. And, uh, and I went and read the bill. It's true. They just added it on. Just no bill of rights of any type now. Well, I think, you know, as you, as you know well, Alex, the uh, the powers that be are always poking around looking for weak links. And, of course, attacking our children, attacking our relationship with our children, uh, attacking how we decide that we're going to discipline our children or teach them, uh, those are our weak links. Have you seen the new uh, pamphlets they have nationwide where it says yelling at your kid, they'll take them? I uh, hadn't seen that yet. I'm, I'm not kidding. We have the pamphlet. In fact, I had it in here a few weeks ago. The state gives parents. It says, raising your voice. In fact, call Janet in here right now. Call Janet in here right now. They tried to take one of my employees, eight-year-old, and, and, and she's got the pamphlet. Gave it to me. It's out there in one of those folders. I think I, re I heard about you talking about this a few weeks ago. Yeah, and, 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 then, and then they gave her an order. It was a made-up little order. You know, They have it themselves saying, do not raise your voice during the 15-day investigation period. No, do not raise your voice is now abuse. I guess i, I got to be thankful that my youngest is uh, two months away from being 18. <laughs> but, I mean, that is the Soviet Union. Yes. And, you know, the Soviet Union did the same kind of stuff. Well, you know, it's, it's the Sovietization of America. And I remember when I first was researching this stuff back in the 90s, I remember that, that theme was, uh, was present there. And, I, you know, I kind of thought, I was new to it. How could this be? And you know, what is she talking about? What is the DV kid talking about or Alex Jones? But as you continue to go down that rabbit hole, you see, I mean, it is absolutely exactly a carbon copy of what the Soviet Union was about. You were showing me a document earlier uh, yes. how, how they list people dangerous, even if they criticize the IRS. Yeah, it's a potentially dangerous taxpayer. The acronym is PDT. And I discovered through Freedom of Information Act requests that I myself am a PDT. By the way, did you know I've done that three times? They won't give me my stuff. I've got to get a lawyer and sue them. They won't give it to any federal agency. They will not give me my, uh, not even blacked out pages. No oh. redactions, nothing. They just I, give you nothing. No I, respond at all? No. <laughs> maybe I should hire you to, to, to file it for me. <laughs> and no, seriously, maybe you, you had success. I, I, yeah, so this is in 25.4.1.1. And boy, I tell you, that's amazing. Here it is. Yeah, here it is. A Parent's Guide to Child Protective Services Investigation. And uh, will, will you ask her to show me the part, because I forget, where it says you're not allowed to raise your voice. Keep talking, Joe. I'll okay. find it. Well, uh, I mean, it, it's uh, sadly the, the state governments, uh, of course, I'm, I'm in Nevada, and uh, at least our legislature seems a little more approachable and have a little more common sense, but uh, that's just in comparison to states like California, uh, or as you're saying, with Texas. So, um, you know, I would also encourage listeners to monitor your state and local governments as well, because I think ultimately those are going to be our last uh, lines of defense in terms of government, because obviously the federal government is not accountable uh, whatsoever to the people. And um, our, our only prayer is to have uh, at least some sliver of accountability with our local and state officials. It says verbally attacked or accused being yelled at. I, I'm, there's a part where it says you can't raise your voice. So I, I, I imagine they can determine uh, what's a raised voice from a non-raised voice? Well, the issue is there is no law that you can't yell at your kids. Spanking's not illegal anywhere. You just can't cause serious physical harm. Right. But meanwhile, they're going to taser you now. Have you seen the court ruling where they say they can taser you to force a DNA sample? So they can beat you over the head with a nightstick, but if you yell at your kid, you're going to go to jail. It's, it's Orwellian. Um... In fact, I just went to the, the bookstore down the street and bought the 1984 uh, <laughs> for my younger son. Uh, it's, you know, read books like 1984, uh, read what it was like in the Soviet Union, and look at today's America, and I challenge you to find much of a difference. Well, in 1984, they have cameras in their houses. Now people buy Xboxes with a camera that watches you. They have cameras on computers Google admits they're using to watch you, but they say a computer is watching you and recording the audio and creating ads. If they hear a dog bark, it puts a dog food ad up. That's already going on. 
Google announced it three years ago. Right. And then I'm the weirdo for talking about it. Right. The public doesn't isn't aware of it largely. And you t you talk about it, and there's something wrong with you. See, that's the difference. Winston knows it's happening, and 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 Huxley, Aldous Huxley, before he died in '62, he gave that Berkeley speech, mm -hmm. and he says, "I disagree with my colleague uh, George Orwell, who died. I don't believe it'll be Winston hiding in there. Not no, no, he won't even care. Big Brother's watching him. We're going to make you love the old enslaved." Ah, 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 ah. And uh, that's how it's being done. Right. And like fluoridation and di yeah. different ways to make you not, not care. That's a cola blue water. It's not fluoridated, I assure you, <laughs> sir. I saw the machine. Uh, I might try to pick one of those up one of these days. They're, they're good. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We, well, you can biometrically pay for that. You know they're going to just bypass world currency and go right to global biometrics. Final segment with Joe Bannister. It has gone by quick. We'll talk about what other inf interesting information he has on the other side. Freedomabovefortune.com. Check it out today.